Hello everybody and welcome to another stream. Helen, that's what we're doing tonight. Helen is a first person survival game in space. 
Right now, last night we played some Star Citizen. Big difference between Helen and Star Citizen. Helen is a survival game. Star Citizen is an MMO. Both in space. Um, both kind of have that first person universe. But Helen tries to go more on the side of, you know, realism tends to trump all. Uh, so it's difficult, but it's fun. And it's early access game. I've actually spent a hell of a lot of time with early access playing on this game because it is definitely one of those fun games, you know, to play. So let me just start it up and uh, let's go in. Yes, yes, I do. I do enjoy. I do enjoy space games. It is the dawn of the 23rd century, when mankind finally dared leave the confines of Earth. With the last of the unification wars behind them, fusion power and interstellar travel in their hands, they turned their attention to a distant star. They named it Hellion. Work began on the expedition project, a massive undertaking with a singular purpose, to give humanity a new home beneath an alien sky. The journey would take almost a century. It is all over. The expedition has fallen apart. Hellion is a war zone. The damn plan was a mistake. It was insane right from the start. But we can't turn back now. I just pray that Alright, so that's pretty much, you know, kind of the beginning of Hellion. Um, that's the basic, you know, the basic story of it. Now, what you do is, we've got a server set up, and um, you're always welcome to join the server. Just type in exclamation point games in chat, and I'll give you all the details of it. And, uh, yeah, and that's it. So I'm heading in now. What I've uh, did last time last week <clears throat> when we were playing this I managed to put together a pretty big base and I got one or two people to kind of use my cryopods to see if they were going to add anything to it um, okay oh. looks like nobody has stuffed up my warp drive yet Okay, well that's good. Nobody's cleaned up any of my stuff. Take it off this helmet. Uh, yes, Ask. I uh, definitely enjoy the space, space games and I never used to like survival games, but I really like them now. Alright, so we are out in space. Our FTL drives pushed off. Um, always good to check to see that okay, somebody's screwed with something in our system. Oh. oh. Deterrent tech. I have no power. No. Oh, crap. Oh crap. I am out of power. I wonder if I can actually do anything. Um Nitro Deuterium. Oxygen and nitrogen. Oh Crap. crap! Crap, 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 crap! I'm not in a good situation yet. I logged off but I didn't actually turn off any of my systems. And so now I am at Nintendo games. No. No, Nintendo games are not my thing. Sorry to disappoint you. 
That's a good on the FDL. FDL's loading. Turn on navigation. Um, go to the home station. Um, so that's a ship. There's a home station. Warp drive to that. Um, and let's see if we can go back to our home station. And we've got no fuel, which is kind of not a good thing. Uh, but we're gonna we're gonna try to get there. Power capacitor insufficient energy. Adrian meet us. Oh no. Can you believe it? I've run out of power on my um, on my ship. So I haven't played for a couple of days, and I actually ran out of power. Yeah, yeah, I've... I've kind of run and my capacitor is not... They've got the solar powers. I mean... Hmm... Turn off lights and escape. Done. Right, so turn off lights. I mean, uh. What, those lights? Lights on the panel. Oh. Okay. And I'll log off and log back on. But that's a run out deuterium, which is a bit of a pain. I need my deuterium. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, so now let's look. Capacity is... Turn up to 50. Um. So to home system. I'm going to try Mass Effect uh, Andromeda. Um, yeah, I will get it, but... I doubt I would stream it at the moment. I mean, there's so many people streaming it. Now I'm not watching any of the streams because I don't want to spoil. I don't want to spoil it for myself. Power consumption. Okay, I think it's because I'm I'm out of deuterium. Oh no! On. 
It's not going up. I should be going up at like 300. That is weird. Okay, I've got no deuterium in the tank, so I can't turn this off. Um, so there is one thing I can do. There is one thing I can do. And that's this. <laughs> I tried to, it didn't, it didn't, uh, it didn't work. I'm going to do this. Thing like full of oxygen and everything. I pretty much what had. Oh, my ship was in such a good shape. Now everything's dead. Alright, so we are going to respawn. And what we're going to do is we're not going to... Are we close? But I think what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to do a random outpost. See if I can get a ship and see if I can get back to my ship. GameStop gave Mass Effect Andromeda 6 out of 10. No Man's Sky got 5 out of 10. No Man's Sky got far that high. Really? Okay, the fact that Andromeda got low, I'm I'm not really surprised. I mean it was it was a game that was pretty much hyped. You know. But then again, it's from EA. People say, no, it's not EA, it's uh, Bioware. You really think EA doesn't have their little fingers in that. So... Hmm. No guns. Ooh, resource injected. Now, I don't know which base I'm at. Oh, pressure has it. Isn't that freaking good? Yeah, what I'm going to try to do... Ah, looks like somebody was here already. I'm going to see if I can find one of those ships, those fabled ships. Here they are, crap. Uh, let's head in two. I've got one of these on my home base. Yourself. 
Alright, uh, let's have a That's a magnetic thing. I don't need really any of those. Waterproof. <laughs> I, 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 I believe you, but... If I got... If I got 5 out of 10, then I still think that that's completely wrong because it really doesn't deserve when it came out it didn't deserve a one out of ten it was pretty much a completely unfinished game that wasn't that should never have been released in the state it was in but the thing is they agree all right so Oh, there is somebody over there. Uh, no, I'm looking for a steam gate in that radio. Well, cool. what the, the steam rating would probably be about one at the moment. Have a look. Anything here? Oh, all I need is a jetpack, then I'll have a full EVA suit. Let's see if we can find ourselves a jetpack. Ah. Oh. Lovely. Right, so, military assault. Military assault. I mean, I, I'm not. I'm not disputing that I gave you that that rating. I'm just. I'm just saying that it doesn't it doesn't deserve anything close to that. So we're just kind of getting rid of everything. Right, um, suit. Go! Yay suit. Okay. Have these things. For our ship. Oh, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna try going to the cargo hold. Games, games are what game? Andromeda 7 out of 10 or No Man's Sky? Uh, 
and No Man's Sky. That's why gaming journalism, journalism is pretty much dead at the moment. They give those scores to those games. Uh, that is the problem. That is why gaming jur journalism should not be listened to. Ooh. Ooh. That is a refill? I don't think we... Yeah, we're, oh, no, when, when we hit a thousand followers, what we are going to do is we're going to have a starter pack, a Star Citizen starter pack giveaway. Yeah, yeah, that's what, that's what I'm actually looking for. I'm looking for the cargo bag. I just can't remember where it is. Is it up here? I think it is up here. Yeah, I can't remember this place. No, did you see the the the, the dead block? Uh, yeah, basketballs. In space. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, there it is. Basketball's in space. Ah, uh, Salted is in its current state. I mean, it's still off a game, but it's it's pretty good. It's got a good uh, first person shooter, Star Marine. Um, still some obviously glitches. The persistent universe, the big problem with the persistent universe at the moment is the network code. But that is getting fixed. So they are working on that for 3.0. Ah, uh, somebody's being a so open this door. Um, I wonder. There. Oh no! No asteroid scanner. Right, let's see if we can find So let's see if we can find that ship. Lena Ship 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 Ship. Yes. You have a ship. Yeah, 2.62 is in the um, avocados hands at the moment. The avocados are are playing it at the moment. Uh, so it should get the we should get it in PTU soon, sooner than later. But 2.62 isn't. Oh, what the hell? I went too fast. Yeah, I, well the ship should appear every now and then, uh, but 2.62 really doesn't add a lot, although I have heard that the Buccaneer is in there. Now 2.62 is more of a bug fix type, tuning type thing. Uh, there are some things like, uh, what do you call it, the... Uh, 
there, there are some things like... Yeah, what is that called? The Mega Map. Which is kind of a big thing. The Mega Map is a big thing. Uh, so... The multiplayer Mega Map is in, which will make the loading times a lot quicker. They've done some serialization of, uh, of things, but... Yeah, it, uh, there's not a lot. I mean, it, it's fixes and tuning and stuff like that, but really not a lot of that up to that. Mm -hmm. Hey, Sephiroth, thank you for the host. Alfred, you still, uh, you still play a lot of KSP, don't you? Because I remember seeing you uh, with KSP. I watched that for a long time ago, and I think he was playing a lot of KSP. Which, I was playing this afternoon, with my 18,000 ton craft. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I definitely prefer the Persistent Universe over kind of Star Marine and stuff like that. You know, it's... Um, Yeah, because that's where that's where I first saw you, Safra, when you were playing uh, KSP. So what what are you doing today? What are you doing late, lately? So let me give. There we go. Never winter. Ah. I can't remember. Did I ever play Neverwinter? I can't. I play so much games, you forget them. GTA 4, Neverwinter, and some other random games. Yeah, have you have you seen this game? The Hellion. It is a sweet, sweet game. But uh, take this. It is pretty much uses like full Newtonian physics. So, you know, all the docking maneuvers and stuff like that that you learn in KSP, this uses that. Okay, so let's open that panel. All right. Yeah, I mean, again, it's early access, so it's going to be a while before it's... Uh... What? Holy crap! Look at that! That's a good thing I got that. Oops. I better replace that thing now. I did pick up one. Uh, uh, so I need a, a core containment field. I need the thermonuclear catalyst. The air field controller. I've got an EM field controller. Let's see if I've got there in here how my fuel is going. Yeah, it's I mean it's a it's an early access game, but if you like that hardcore you know sci-fi type thing, this guy rocks. Because it, it really focuses on the Newtonian physics of stuff. So, now, if I can replace those other parts and get this thing going, this would be absolutely awesome. So let's have a look here. Uh, what have we got? Lots of deuterium, lots of nitrogen, lots of oxygen. Excellent. In fact, there's nitrogen. We're going to put some in there. Uh, 
soon. Confirm. Oh, moved there. Confirm. There we go. Hey, Herbs. Herbs, we had an issue. We had an issue. I got back to my ship and everything was kind of drained. And hey, Azalus. Get my drills ready. Luckily, I found a ship floating around, which I'm now, I'm now stealing. And I'm going to see if I can find any spare parts to repair it. Alright, so... This in there, don't need to carry this around. Um... Oh, I think that would be over here. Huh? Yep. There's the empty ones, a filter unit. Pop this back there. I'm planning to issue. Oh, this. Don't you complain about my textures? This guy. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, this game. I'm playing the fastest thing, so the textures aren't quite what you want at the moment. But it's um. Oh no! Okay, those better be better than zero. All right, so I don't know if we'll be able to get the engine going. Have a see. Uh, yeah, um, oh, sorry, <laughs> back, back to this, space survival game, yay. So he needs his part there. A lot of people have such a tough time docking with this game in that. Oh yeah, oh yesterday, you saw what the, I mean, for a game, really, oh, I need a core containment field. Hmm. I'm going to have to run back to the other, I'm going to have to run back to the station and see if I can get myself a core containment field. But we're going to try it in a different way now. Um, let's see what we can we do. Right, so there it is. Um, so let's see if we can actually dock this guy. Now if you can do air, air hole to air hole. So we're going to do air hole to air hole docking. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. I have to kind of get this thing to close. Newtonian physics. Newtonian physics. Don't be an asshole. Velocity matched. Here we go. What game is this? This is Hellion. Which is a space survival game. But what it actually... It's a, it's a space survival game, but it's one that focuses on using proper Newtonian physics and stuff like that. Now you've got to kind of be 
very careful with this. All right, so airlock. Um, Stuck in bay. But let's see. Um, I think it's that one. Let's try. Uh, I need to turn myself down. There we go. There it is. Alright, so now the thing about this is it's very <laughs> I think so well somebody has been looting this thing. Oh uh, basically what happened when I joined the game um I started in my ship and I had no fuel in my ship. Uh, my all my fuel was drained. All my fuel was drained and I was very sad. So I had to actually go and restart uh, sort of in a outpost and luckily the outpost had a ship which I have commandeered. So now this again it uses Newtonian physics. So you've got to be very careful with using RCX. And I've got to take these things really slowly. Now is this the right one? I mean is that is an air that is an air hole. Um don't know if it's doesn't look like it's no. Okay, I think those arrows are a bit screwed. So, uh, down. So, I think I came in at too much of an angle. There we go. Ah, better. Oops. Too much, too much, too much. Too much RCS. Okay, so going forward. There's a tap up. Come on. Um, now, hopefully, this will dock now. Again, it's kind of def, you know, terrible experience on this is. Oh no! Is a must. Oh, it's actually not a must, really. You've just got to understand how these things work. Come on, why won't you dock? Really? Uh. Oh, come on. Back, 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 back. Oh, it's... Uh, unless... This is doing... What happened on my other one. Is it upside down? Yeah, uh, it's... I mean, it should be all right. Uh, 
You see, the, uh, the problem is uh, the arrows, you can't rely on them. Uh, those arrows lie. Uh, that's kind of one of the issues. Is the arrows lie. Like for example, I might actually be upside down. And that's why it's not going in. I mean, I can dock on my own station. I don't know if I've ever tried docking on this. I mean, it's like... Arrows are overrated, exactly. But you should be like close enough, should be good enough. Uh, because you usually got magnets to take over. Ah, oh, so it's not, it's not docking. Ah, oh, so what might we... Yeah, what we might have... Ah! Oh, stop moving! Okay. Now, the other thing we could do... Alright, so first of all... So, bring that... I'm not moving outwards anymore. I'm not moving up anymore. Alright, hold T, next part. Oh, that is that part, okay. Um. Right, so you see like the arrows say, oh look it's fine. this it's I mean it looks up to down to me but we're gonna try it sometimes that's kind of how it works You passed 90 degrees to port rotate. Okay. See, look at that arrow, it says go to the right. I don't know why it says that. Come on. Duck you son of a bitch. Really? Not talking? Yeah, that's... Now, uh, one of the other funny things I've found as well with the docking is sometimes if you're having trouble with things locking on, like, uh, you know, things shafting, one of the things... Uh, one of the things you can do is you log back out, you log back in, and then you can dock. Maybe the, the lock is so down. I don't know. I 
I mean, I can't get smoother than that. I have to do a complete turnaround. Alright, so, what we need to find on this station. Um, oh, let me out. Yeah, the airlock control must be on the that, but we were doing it at the very beginning. Um, and it wasn't working. So, I think what I'm going to... Uh, I am going to just... I'm going to do this. Ah, oh, crap. Sneeze. <coughs> wow. Stress sneezes. It's true. I sneeze with the stress of docking. I'm going to take this off. I'm going to put this in. Alright, um, now I can take this off. Alright, so why I am putting this on, instead of the other suit, that's a ho- What's that about a hotas? <laughs> Because I can lift it, I can lift this helmet up so it's easier to move around it. Right, and okay, so let's open this guy up here. Oh. Uh, what the? Okay. Really? Luckily, I wasn't going to use the spacesuit. The station's already open. Uh, but. Um Wait wait wait. Am I outside? How the <sighs> There's my ship doctored. Um how the hell do I get outside? I don't know. Oh. What the? What is going on here? This, sta this station is bugged. <laughs> Alright, so this is why it's called Alpha. Now I wanted you to notice something. In the future, we no longer have the number zero. Right? We no longer have the number zero. And our keyboards are no longer QWERTY, they Godram Sotty. Or Squatty. Godram Squatty. God, God Raw Squatty. Like God Raw Squatty keyboards. Um, 
It's got a C++ key, so everybody's a programmer. Unfortunately, Microsoft is still around because there's a C hash key. Uh, so that's one of the things that we're not happy about in the future. However, Python is still doing well. See, there's, it's got its own key. <laughs> so that is the future. The future. Uh, um. Oh, well, let's get into the station. <laughs> one minus one equals zero. No need. <laughs> uh, so we need some stuff. So we're going to head into the station. Uh, we push off. Oh, let's see, I'm getting a notification. Um. Okay, so that worked. Right, um. Oh, all right. So uh, there we go. Yeah, I've got a few people on YouTube sending me messages. Um, like, ah, oh, I missed the video. I missed the live stream. Unfortunately, I'm not streaming live to YouTube anymore. I'm only streaming to Twitch. Let's have a look. All right, so we back in, we back in the um, the art panel. We've got our ship dock with us. But there's another, there's another suit over here. Right, but what I'm going to do is we've used up a bit of, of oxygen now. So let me dump that and take this one. This has got full of oxygen. You can see it's filled with oxygen. Hey, Shargonard. Oh. You're talking to Ali. <laughs> I just saw the hey. Uh, you see, the problem is, uh, Dread Meters, Shargonard, and... I've both got the... They're both green on my screen. Yeah, you know, the color, the name color is green. So, it's like... That's why I miss, I miss it sometimes. Okay, now it's highlighted in red. But now I see. But yeah, again, this, you know, we've got our, um, we've got our, our server going that runs 24 seven for this game. And if you type in exclamation point games, any um, sort of any follower can join the server. Wow, look at all this crap. Uh, it's Catalyst. 43%. I mean, this one is 25. This one is 44. So what we can... Oh, I see the emotions are exploding. That's normally when somebody follows. There we go. But uh, I can't see because three minutes doesn't tell me yet. And my own thing isn't telling me, so I don't know. I don't know who's following. I will know soon enough because an alien will pop up over there and say, tell me who. There we go. Oh! Don't know. 666. The devil, Sean. <laughs> Welcome to the Alien Army. Thank you for the follow. Like, yeah, so I'm, I am getting close to, I'm getting close to a thousand, a thousand followers. And when I get to, 
when I get to a thousand follows, I will be giving away a. Um, oh, I will be giving away a Star Citizen package. Star Citizen starter package with Squadron 42 and Star Citizen. Alright. I know this bug. This is a horrible bug because it's kind of like I'm. The gravity isn't kicking in. So the only way to get out of this bug is to. Log out and log back in. Yeah, so for those looking to join me on our server, the server we run in Thailand, so it's, I mean, the ping is high for some people, but a lot of people the ping is all right. And um, that's uh, Talang's loss in space. And uh, for a lot of people, it's it's all right, but even like uh, Sumter, for example, who has that one of the highest pinks, because he's from Canada land. Um, he doesn't have a problem with the server latency wise, lag and stuff like that. So, you know, don't let the, the high ping to the server fool you. It's a lot more. It's got a lot more to do than just, just ping. That's how well the server runs. And the latency on our server is really, really low, so that runs quite well. Okay. I need... Containment field generator. Oh yes! I'll take these. Oh, I can't take those. Oh, but I know there's some other stuff done. So this station has really been looted. Uh, Ender field generator, another one. Yeah, let's get that one. Bird Riot, begging for a new start on the private server. Oh, well, I mean, if they're followers of the stream, they're welcome to play on this server. We, um... Oh, look at that, 100%. This one is 100% as well. Resource injectors. What are these guys? 42. Um... Oh, get those. Uh, what are these? 100%. Holy crap. I want to take these. Um, oh, we've got some 200%, 200%. Um, I can't fit any more. Is it stable? Uh, yeah, the server's pretty. The pretty. The server is pretty stable. The problem is the game still still has issues. But I mean, that's no problem with the actual server. That's you know, that's the game. Our hardware that we're running on is um, pretty good hardware. So we shouldn't have. Um, no, it's got no issue with uh, keeping up with the, the stuff. In fact, we run Seven Days to Die on the same server box. And you know when you take a big building and you fill it with explosives and you blow it up, how all the physics has got to catch up? Well, on, um, on our server, there is no physics lag at all. So it's, it works really, really well. Let's have a look at this. Ooh, ooh. 
Brilliant. Yes. Brilliant. Okay, so I can take these guys down to the bottom. And we've pretty much got everything we need from this now. We can pretty much get out of here. Uh, this one. Oh, that's only 18%. Oh, that's a bad one, but you never know, you might be able to recharge them in the future. That's a good one. A hundred percent. Resource injector, that's a good one. And... Alright, we're done. So let's get out of here. Uh, yeah, it's kind of, you know, obviously with the kind of with the patches that obviously often with the patches they want you to uh, wipe. So, you know, we do the wipes when when required, but don't really do the wipes of it any other time. Those is Go. And oh no, look at me, I'm free. And turn this around. Okay, time to fly. So let's hope I don't have a really, really long trip home. Um, oh, my panels are missing, my screens, guess what, guess how we fix this, <laughs> I know, that's, the, that's unfortunately the game, I mean it, it's, for the most part, it works really well, but uh, there are some really weird things that logging out and logging in seems to be the answer. Alright, so sit down. Alright, so on to FTL. Turn the FTL on. The FTL is turning on. Uh, navigation. Uh, home station. There it is. Walk drive. Acceleration too low. Um, what happens if I use B? Really? Thirty seven minutes. Thirty seven minute warp. Uh, we, we have to get it. Now, the thing is, what we can do... Now, the good thing about this game... Is, while you're doing the warp... You're not stuck to the pilot seat. You can actually do other things. It's kind of like Star Citizen, it's got this local, localized physics grid. So you can get up, you can walk around, you can... I don't know, do stuff. In fact, if you wanted to, you could even log in and try something else. 
So I just went to start the warp and then... 37 minutes, wow. That's gonna be crazy. Alright, here we go. So, now it is, we are busy in flight towards it. Now, interesting thing is, look at this. Um, what you've got, if I go onto the navigation panel again, and I have a look. And I have a look at my ship. That's my ship there. Uh, if you have a look, look how my... Look how my... Um, orbit is actually increasing. You can actually see and you can actually watch other people as well. Watch their orbits and that increase. So if we kind of... Oh wow. How far are we traveling? Yeah, warp three, warp factor three. Okay, dreadmits, dreadmeters, or dreadmits, mittens, mittens for short. <laughs> Itchy mittens. That's gonna be your new name, Itchy mittens. Wow, this is coming in. Oh, so there is our ship. We're in Bethia and we're coming into Herop. Thankfully it's over there. If this thing was over here, that would be a long time traveling. So it's not that bad, really. Anyway, so, you know, you can see all these things over there. Now, actually, we can do a scan, can't we? And I'll come back with uh, dust clouds. Huh. See what's happening. Look at that. See how the our orbit is increasing. Our orbital lines are all increasing. Hello, crypto. So uh, yeah, um, yeah, it's shout out. What I, what I've got is if you where is this? Um, we can actually get out of the seat. I have a little nap somewhere. Um, where is this? There we go. Okay. So what we've got over here is these are all the games we are running on the server at the moment. We've got a, a sort of arc, we've got a whole arc cluster going. Uh, we've got two seven days to die. We're waiting for the Alpha 16 patch, then these will be wiped. You know, a hardcore version and a normal version. Empyrean, Pelion, Avorian. I almost, almost play tonight. Um, Eden Star and Conan Exiles, we've got them, but we haven't really been using them. Right now, the hardware we're actually running on is two Intel Xeon 2670s with 64 gigs of memory. So, all this small amount of games, yeah, it's plenty. It's plenty because a lot of a lot of hardware time to it and of course any follower can uh can join and join us on the service um yeah and you can bring your friends as well if you want to no problem just make sure they follow these rules 
give me a follow. And if you watch, saw me on or saw somebody, another streamer use it, follow them. And don't be a dick. That's simple. Doesn't mean don't PvP, but you know, there's a big difference between PvP and being a dick. So these are available um, to use. What are my service stats? Right here. On this webpage. So there you go. I've got a dual, dual socket server motherboard in that. And uh, yeah, I'm running the Proxmox uh, virtual environment system. So it's all there. It's all there on that. So yeah. And okay, welcome to you know you're welcome to join. You're welcome to play on. Um, if there's any other sort of uh, game you want on there, we can always drop a server. That's not a problem. Now uh, I think what I'm going to do. In the meantime, I'm going to get changed. I want to. You know, I'll, I'll, ch I'll change when I actually need to. I'll just keep this one on for emergencies. But let me see what resources we've actually got. Um, I can take these guys, throw them downstairs. The efficiency 38%. They're not very efficient at the moment. And this is what I do love about this, is that, you know, the ship's going, you can go and do other things. Oh, I did, uh, I did some last week. Yeah, I can do, I can do, I can definitely do another Avorian stream. Let's see, tomorrow... Tomorrow night, if I don't have Planet Nomads, let's do some Avorian tomorrow night. We'll play Avorian tomorrow night. If I don't, uh... yeah, if, Planet, if I don't have the Planet Nomads Alpha yet at that stage, uh, we'll do that. All right, so let's see what we've got. We've got no engine fuel, we've got oxygen. Nitrogen, lots of deuterium, which is good. And we're pretty much good over here. Do you have a server? Uh, Shay Tiger for what? A server for Avorium? No, we've got a full server. I've got a full server that is... Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's an actual, it's an actual server. Um... In fact, there it's running right there. Now it's an actual, it's an actual server on a Linux box running. So yeah, uh, can we actually see it? Yeah, look at that. So it's yeah, it's pretty much all happily running. It's a full server. Um, yeah, I set up the whole panel and stuff like that. So, welcome to join it. And again, with uh, Imperium as well, which is a pretty good game. Oh, got a sneeze. I know I am. I don't know if it's the air conditioner. Oh, for Avorin. Yeah, definitely. Um, I was just getting started, so I've got no problem restarting or setting the server so that everybody starts at the same place. Yeah, it's no problem. But yeah, this time tomorrow. Oh. 
Yeah, impairing is a is is great. So yeah, we gotta we've uh, in fact, you know what? While we're doing this time warp, while we're doing this time warp, um, let's actually just sh I can actually show these games. Alright, so uh, I think I think I've still got about another twenty-five, almost half an hour left on the time warp. So while we're doing the time warp, let's have a look. Let's exit this completely. Uh, and let's pop on to uh, where is it? Library. Imperium. Okay, so we're just gonna pop into Imperium quickly. Yeah, it's actually a screenshot from uh, a screenshot I took from within Star Citizen. It's the uh, that cityscape thing. Remember, I said. That is, you know, this is my best view in the game. <laughs> I screenshotted it. All right, so resume game. Uh, oh, no, no, back. Multiplayer. Galactic Park of Hugs. <laughs> so this is the Imperium server. Oh, it's dark. Oh, maybe my fuel finally ran out. Uh, let's have a look. I haven't been here in a while. Okay, there you go. Oh yeah, this is kind of, it's my basement. It's got all the um, promethium ore. Oh, there we got that. Put them in there like that. And let's make like output count. So let's make like a hundred. It'll make two hundred so that I can fill up this stuff. Okay. Um, So, and then I've got my whole little green ass thing in here. Second level green ass. I've got plenty of food. <laughs> yes. That is the community password. So I keep using control now to go down. Ah, oh, oh wait. Has everything gone off? My fridge? No, it's out. Interesting. Uh, and this is my baby. This is my sweet baby. And this is the kind of the hangar area. And look! I made a cutlass. <laughs> I made a cutlass. Actually made a cutlass and it flies quite well. Oh, uh, th this is just the, the starter plant, but my, um, this is, yeah. So what's the, what's the starter plant called? A cure. But I've actually got a base on Ningus. That's my main base. I want to show you this ship. These kind of, you've got the generators. Oh, this ship really works really, really well in battles. You've got all your stuff. Got up here. You've got a nice little, uh, I haven't quite finished this ship yet. Nice little garden area in the ship. This was, this is going to be kind of the living quarters, which I never got around to. And a little more stuff over here. 
out of your oxygen thing and stuff like that. You've got your bridge. And then you've got the, the battle bridge. Which I'm still working on. <laughs> Um, but, with this, there is a V, and it's an alt, that is the ship, it is a UFO, <laughs> I built a UFO, and it flies really, really nicely, but wait, there's more, look at that, at the top. What is that at the top there? You got the hang at the bottom, but what have you got at the top there? Um, no. Exit again, F. Now go and look at the... And you got a top hangar bay with some more ships. <laughs> now that is my little capital vessel in Imperium. So that's what we've got. Alright, um... So yeah, there's are some other bases around here. Right, let's just hop in this car. So there's kind of the base. Now I think the others have got, I believe the others have got a base down here somewhere. But I mean, like I said, my main base is on the PvP area. Of course it's, of course it's dark. There's, there's the area. Done, yeah, so the others have been building a big base. Oh, the one capital base is gone. Now, I mean, this is all kind of a PvE area, so... Yeah, so I mean, yeah, you can use your... I mean, this really is a fun game and it's... Um, it's a definite fun game. But it's... the PvP is a lot of fun in this game as well. Well, they're definitely the version, the new version that's coming out. Is it version 6? That they're working on at the moment has got... Um, sort of charged up rooms and things like that. Right, so this is Imperium. Let me get back to my... Let me get back to my UFO. And it's, again, it's all voxel, so everything is destroyable. Like, for example, this mountain. Now I want to go through the mountain. Yes, you can make a hole right through the mountain. There you go, the sun's up now. Um, never 
get this lightning. Oops. There you go. Locked. And done. Oh, why is this not closing? Have I uh, run out of fuel in this ship? Or maybe I have. Because I haven't been here for a while. So anyway, so this is... That is Imperium on our server. Right now, what I'm going to do is go into Avorian. <laughs> no, we, we know, we know, Simeon, we know long time warp. But Avorian? Uh, naughty player. Join via IP. There you go. Galaxy of Blocks. And join. The latest, the latest patch is 0 0.17, 0 0.1.7. So this is, uh, yeah, this is a Vorian. Um, that's a kind of a block game, but it's got like things like, for example, oh, it has changed with the stuff on the left. Where's the stuff on the left? Oh, jeez, I've got no... Oh, wow, they... They've totally changed this. It seems weird to control now. I need to get back to this game. But uh, yeah, so what it is, it's kind of... You now you've got your stations, you've... Like for example, there's a station. An asteroid. There, a resource depot, for example, I can communicate with them. Oh, wow, well, I've got 3,500 iron already. Um, your, your ship building is different. You press B. And then it's the same th sort of thing. You've got your list of ships to put on. Yeah, you drag, you kind of. Say, for example, we want to add on crew quarters. Got that. They put it there. Um, kind of make it bigger, make it smaller. So it's, you know, it's that sort of thing. Now, and you build your ship in whatever way. Although the thrust has changed a bit. I've got to work this out properly. Might actually just start a, a completely new one. Got a lot of forward power this ship. Alright, leave build mode. And the thing is, what's nice about this, if your blocks get knocked off in a fight, when you repair it, those missing blocks return to you. And that's kind of what a Vorian looks like. It's it's a start, it's kind of, you've got to get over the the whole idea of it being in blocks and stuff like that. But again, you could you, you could really make some nice ships with it. But it's a great galaxy. I mean, that's how big the galaxy is. Now, I played for four hours. I played for four hours yesterday. And that was the furthest I got to. Even using jump points. So, you really want to get kind of into the center of the galaxy. So it's pretty... Pretty huge. You know, and there's aliens and stuff like that along the way. It's a, it's a good, it's a fun little game. 
I definitely need to play it some more. Right, so. And that was on our server. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, my ship was sliding all over the place. I definitely... What I might actually do is I might just start completely new. Right, so let's go back to Helium. And see where we are. It was the dawn of the 23rd Ash. century when mankind finally dared the Yeah, definitely Shadow Tiger. Definitely co, co streaming. I mean, I've got the Discord and stuff like that. Co streaming is. That's a lot of fun because, you know, you can, you can get up to shenanigans together. Um, viewers like to see things from different points of view. I tend to do a lot of I tend to do a lot of multi streaming on my sort of on my channel. Uh, yeah, you see, we're still in warp. We're still in warp. So let's go see. We should be we should be about a minute or so out. Yeah, Discord. Ah, uh, Discord is like. Yeah, I remember all the team speaks and ventrilos and mumbles and stuff like that. And Discord is such a step up from those. Um, home station. Where's my ship? Huh, not giving me the time. It's not giving me the time any That's a bit annoying. I play uh Vorian, Empyrean, Minecraft, Kerbal, and Mech Warrior Online. I can fix my Oh, nice. Never. Were... Are you talking about the um, the cryptic Neverwinter? Um, I shouldn't have crashed through any planets. I'm not dead yet, so. That's good. I just don't know where I am. Oh, the other, the other, uh, I think I'm thinking of, I'm th I was thinking of Neverwinter Online. I was thinking of that, uh, that cryptic game, Neverwinter Online, which is kind of more like an action RPG type thing. Pay to win, <laughs> as all cryptic games are. Well, I just, I just logged back in. So... Yeah, I just logged back in. Star Trek Online. I... Okay, so... Don't laugh at me. But a long time ago, I was so... I really, really wanted a um, a good sci-fi MMO, and I saw Star Trek Online coming out. Now this is before they released it, and uh, I got a life I got a lifetime pass. So I've actually got a lifetime on Star Trek Online <laughs> before the game actually came out. I've also got, I've also got one. Don't laugh. Uh, is it Champions Online? <laughs> yeah, Champions. So yeah, I've got, I've got the whole Star Trek Online. Star Trek Online is actually not bad. 
Um, the the space combat when it first came out was hellish fun. A multi pass, <laughs> no multi pass. The the space combat in uh, Star Trek Online when it first came out was hellish fun, and I uh, of course I, I you know, everybody goes Federation to kind of. At the beginning to play the game because that was the only one that had the store sort of any sort of story but i went and uh cling on and i just leveled just doing pvp space combat pvp ah stealth fighting coming in dropping out of stealth blasting and just pissing off they, they hated that so many so many complaints Yeah, the I don't know. Um, they kind of make very they, okay. So the thing with Cryptic is they make fun games, but then they ruin them. <laughs> you know, there's not a lot of depth in that to it, but they actually are fun to play for a, for a little bit. Okay, so. Um, I should be there by now. Yeah, I started with a Liberated Borg. It was my first one. And then I went full Klingon. And I gah! That was great! Um, hmm. Alright, uh, alright, so let's see. Maybe we crashed. Oh god. This was a really good ship though. They fixed this ship up pretty well. Hmm. That's 37 minutes ago. Now how long ago was that? I think that's when crypto got you. That should maybe be a few more minutes. Hmm. She's not.
I'm pretty sure it, it's mine. I don't know. I mean, I went to the home base. <laughs> Let me go have a look. So I think Sub just stole my base. <laughs> that bastard. I'm going to find him, man. I'm going to shoot him in the head. Or maybe it was Kenny. Kenny, did you steal my home base? Um, Only the name doesn't change. Only the name doesn't change. Let's go. Oh. That's kind of disappointing. But it's not really, because I mean... Every time they do an update, it's the server wipe, so it's not like it's a, it's not like it's a big deal anymore. That's so. Hey, the real, the real Pete Metcalf. I don't know, <laughs> but you, it's real. You real. Ah, uh, so I think what's happened is somebody ran away with my base. Oh no, no, can't. Somebody ran away with my base. In fact, I'm not even picking up my ship. I should pick up. I should be picking up my other ship. Investing our bed. Are getting ready to go into the wild blue yonder. Let's see. And this was set up as my home. Oh, where the hell you go? Come back here. That's that's something that's to do with their net that's something that is to do with their net code. Maybe Timmy could have been. No uh oh, this was that. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Ah. <laughs> Yes, Neoni. This this was my this was mine. This was my one. This, yeah, I let Neoni on my base. What did you do with my base? Somebody made up with all my stuff. Hey, look. I, oh, yeah. Yeah, because look, I filled up everything. 
But where were the modules? Even the airlock is gone. There are damn Mongolians! <laughs> oh, the damn Mongolians! Yeah, I play. I play the forest with Kenny, and he and he lost our son Timmy. <laughs> oh, but yeah, I. But this is not fun. You see, I managed to fill all the shit up. But now everything's gone. <sighs> now I could... What do you have to do in this game? Is that a skull? No, oh, looks like this. Um, well, it's a space survival game. It's a space survival game where you've kind of you you got to do a lot of uh, scavenging and stuff like that. Yeah, you have to survive. I mean, may I be the first to say, duh. Um, but yeah, you've got to survive. But there's a lot of scavenging to do and things like that uh, to keep your parts going. Now, there's also a story to it. But we don't quite know what the story, the full story is. Right, so... Okay. I kind of went out the vents. Alright. <sighs> so that is definitely the base. I think somebody came and saw a fusion reactor and everything else. Even our airlock. They even stole our airlock. How did they do that? There's my ship. Oh, and Puny only has got no ship. No ship docked in his thing either. So that's going to be a little bit tough. Yeah, so every time you go into a ship and stuff like that, Air and things like that is very important. So you've got to find airlocks and use them. I see it's kind of filling this airlock up. Now I can't go into the main ship before the air's fault. Right, so now what I've got to try to do is I've got to try to find parts for our station. No, that was, that was, he was, uh, Neoni was kind of, he's the one person I let on my base to try, um, you know, we, we were trying to build the base together. I mean, I built most of it, and he was coming on board to help me. And I'm t the reason I'm taking this helmet off, because if I leave it on, it's, it will use up the oxygen in the suit. I don't want it to be. Alright, so. Uh, let's see if we can find anything around here. So what we do is you go over there, you go onto the nav. Uh, this is the area we're in. Okay, now we do a scan. Probably. 
But you know something, at this stage of the game, it really doesn't matter because it's kind of like every week it gets wiped. <laughs> every time they release a patch, it's a wipe. I mean, it's a really, really early, early alpha. All right, so I'm not picking up anything on my scanner. Or maybe... Yeah. Wow. I'm really not picking up anything. Now things that you can do, like for example, say uh say we want to get more resources. I can plot a warp use that full tank. I can plot a warp to uh the asteroid for example. Yes. Get the time set up right. Go and initialize. Right, so what we're doing is there we go. There it is. So we are now going to an asteroid to do some mining. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, you're getting kind of better. Yeah, exactly. It's not, it's not a big deal. I mean, I started on a um, outpost because I started my ship and it had no fuel in it. Yeah. Right, so now what we're doing is we warping to an asteroid. Now what I'm going to go do is, while we're warping to the asteroid, um, I'm actually going to go and grab a drill. So, I'm going to grab a drill. Uh, and we're just sitting there. <laughs> and we're just sitting there. And we're just sitting there. It kind of said. So you see there's an asteroid 139 meters apart away from us so now this is not the mo this is not going to be the efficient way but it's just kind of an uh, like one of the i uh, one I'm just going to show you what it's what it's like so drill climb up And depressurize. <laughs> hey, people have to look after their stuff properly. Now, I think that I think what they do is they have ships that come by and float around every half an hour or so on the outpost now so that when you start an outpost you at least can get your ship back like so right, so you see that's our ship um first k that's right there we go there's the asteroid now the asteroid is going to do the asteroid dance as soon as I get close to it and it's going to flip out completely for that 
But now, hopefully, if I grab hold of it, it's not going to... Ah, good. All right, so now I'm on the asteroid. So, I can drill. And you see, I'm getting nitrate over there. So if you look over there, nitrate minerals. Got two nitrate minerals. And so what you this is how you collect resources. Yeah, you know, that that's got, yeah, that's how I got my new EVA suits and stuff like that. And then I was gonna try to get back to my old ship. But I can't find it anymore. Right, so, getting lots of nitrate minerals. And this is kind of how you would restock up. You know, you restock your your ship with stuff now you can you can have multiple multiple drills and batteries to yeah go further that's 16 I wonder if I, if I can get something like dry ice different parts of the asteroid will give you different resources uh, and then So different parts will give you different resources and um, and more nitrate. And also you get something called a you get like a, a asteroid scanner so you can say where you can actually mine specific resources. Now at the moment I'm just getting nitrate minerals. Alright, so 20. I'm out of battery but my thing is full as well. So, turn back my HUD and go into the ship. Ship is. So, obviously, I would normally go with this being much closer. And when you've got a couple of people, you open the bottom cargo bay and they can just sit there and mine like a shit ton. Then it's worth it opening the cargo bay when you've got a couple of people doing it. Side, uh, drop the mine. Okay, repressurize. Control. So just waiting for the. I don't know. I don't know what they. I mean, I, they they have said that the top priority is always fix bugs. You know, try fix the bugs first before content. So they constantly want to be able, to, you know, fixing bugs. But of course, every time they fix a bug, another bug crops up. Um. There we go. Oh, come on. Have you. The door. Ah, and let me just throw you over there. Um, my helmet off. Right, and right, now watch this. Uh, remove canister. Uh, 
And yeah, drop that. Take the canister, pop him in the ore thing. You go over here and then nitrate minerals. So you'll drag that across transfer the amount. So we've now got we've now got 20 nitrate on minerals. Then you go to refining and that refines to 10 nitrogen and 8 what is that Nit nitrate i think nitro so yeah so it basically refined refined that so now we can take that and we can kind of Move that there. Now nitro is good for things like uh, EVA thrusters. Yeah. So, um, so, for example, if I take this, I pop him there, and I look at this. has got an oxygen of 14.2, nitro 9.1. So I can refill. I can refill the tanks of nitro. So now it's got back to full and oxygen I can actually refill that as well so back to full oxygen but now let's see the pack is is full but now what I'm gonna do is if I take this I drop this empty and put it in so it's ready to go mining again However, there's one thing that is the battery. The battery is uh, kind of used up. So yeah, we can take another battery. All right, put that over there. Now this other battery that we got, that's kind of empty. We place him in there and he recharges. So you see it's kind of the it's not like an you kind of have to do the stuff so that's what makes it really hard you have to know what to do with various things um you know you gotta learn you gotta learn stuff even the all the movement is newtonian physics and stuff like that so i've actually got to get more batteries i've got two drills I need more if I take a drill and I take like a spare cargo thing that I can swap cargo I can swap a canister while I'm drilling um, and a couple of batteries and so I could stay out for longer doing more stuff this is a front door it actually opens up the problem when you open this up is this whole area loses oxygen so you would need to um, you need to refill it when you close that door, and of course that uses a ton of oxygen, which we've got, but it isn't really worth it. You need oxygen and nitrogen for for atmosphere, not just oxygen. But right, well, we're going to go up there. We're going to see. If How's this battery doing? Um, oh, it's still at zero. Charge. Oh, well, it's going to be charging for a while. Okay, um. Yeah, the, the, there's the other way to take two drills when you're mining as well. There's a couple of ways to do it. I often just take one drill, a couple of batteries and a couple of canisters. And then I swap the stuff. I don't do it with two drills. But that's me. Other people do find the two drill method to work best. Alright, so let's have a look at the nav computer. Um, do a scan. 
if anything pops up. Well, our scan is not picking up anything. That is, that is very strange. That is very, very strange. Why is the scan not picking up anything? What's going on with the server? Let me have a look. Maybe it's a... Maybe the server is giving tons of errors. No, the server looks fine. Actually, the server uses... Hellion. I mean, it's like 137 megabytes. 9% of the CPU. It's... Not using anything. All right. Um, oh, maybe because it had a, a whole bunch of errors, and I restarted the server. Maybe that it deleted all the modules. That could have happened. That actually could have happened. Again, it's not a problem with our server. It's a problem with the with the. The server software of the game because I am not I'm not finding any modules now it's the scan is just not working Demon Strip, how's it going? So, uh, what is going on there? It's going, where's it going? Probably not going to be uh, a good place to uh, do that warp uh, because it would have been through the asteroid, which probably would have got us killed. At work, making two separate caging orders at the same time, or just my okay. Easy solution, Demon Strip. Make one, cut it in half, and give. And make a really large one. <laughs> okay, so you're really, really, really busy, and you decide to pop into my stream. <laughs> Good on you! <laughs> Good on you! That's the way it should be done. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm just like heavily under pressure. I've got to do this. I've got to do that. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go watch Tal. <laughs> that works. I like your style. <laughs> oh, do you know what I actually... Um, I, I've been binge watching. Uh, the... Um, Iron Fist, Marvel's Iron Fist. I've been binge watching that. <sighs> you know, okay, so Daredevil's good. <laughs> Daredevil is good. The Dead Daredevil's good. Uh, what's the one with the girl? Um, Jessica Jones. Jessica Jones was great. Luke Cage was good too. 
But I first I don't know, I, th I thought it was a little bit lacking. But it wasn't bad, but it was just a little bit lacking. In my opinion. It's... But yeah, I, I love, I love those, those Netflix shows. Those Marvel Netflix shows are, are brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. It's a, it's a totally different look. It's like, it's more of a, uh, looking at these superheroes like real people. But I enjoyed them. Any of you watch watch them? Look at this big one. It's see this? It's hello big boy. Hello big boy. Pew pew. Oh I've got no sh I've got no guns. I can't shoot them. Alright, so let's see. Can we do a scanner? And nothing. Nothing. No distress signals. What is going on here? This is... Oh, this kind of kills the game if I can't find anything to steal. And... If I try to go to one of these guys, it's going to be like a, a long walk. Zoom to parent. So you see, I'm kind of out on the outskirts here. I was around one of these, and I and I flew out this area. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go! Oh, come on, where was that? I saw stuff! Yeah, it... It does, it, it's... Yeah, I mean, I'm not getting anything, and all my modules disappeared from my station. So yeah, this is not working at all. I did see, I did see them. Um, I did see some clouds over there. I'll try log out, log back in, and see if that makes a difference. I could try to restart the server, see if that makes a, a difference. Yeah, I think we kind of done with this until the next patch. Or I go and wipe it. But this is not... This is not fun. But so... 
Then burgers. Ah ha! There we go. Okay, so what this has done is it's determined that there is something in this area. So what we want to do is we want to add a custom orbit and we want to kind of bring this orbit out and then you kind of want to put yourself Why does this have to be difficult? Bring yourself kind of in the middle of that cloud. Okay, and then you right click on that and you warp to that particular orbit. And that's kind of how this works. So. Initialize. Right, go there. Got to line up with that maneuver node. There is the maneuver node. When a countdown gets to zero, we are far off and we will warp towards that cloud area and then we'll do another scan and what it will do is it will um, be able to get you a better a better picture of what the cloud looks like and that's kind of how you do the scanning and it's actually going to be interesting how you know the method star citizen is going to use for its scanning as well because expo exploration is a big part of that game as well so I wonder if they're going to do something like that. Yeah, you kind of pick anomalous signals. And with the anomalous signals, you know, you go in for a tighter beam scan or... I mean, I'm not sure, I'm not sure how... I, I don't mind this method, to be honest. You know, when you get kind of a area and you've got to search that area, but you've got some sort of signal of where things might be. It's definitely not a bad way of doing it. I mean, when it works, of course. A lot of the stuff, it depends on how things work. Hey, the one man raid, Charlie Force. How are you doing? Okay, see, so now I'm in the middle of this cloud. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a scan. And now it's going to be able to hopefully give us a better definition of... There we go. We picked up something over there. So what I'm going to do over here, move these coordinates. And I'm going to go over to this part there. Ah, oh, yeah, Zada. I mean, my server is still running. Um, I haven't taken anything down. But, you know, it's kind of like, I would say tomorrow night would probably be that when they seem to be doing their patches. If they continue on the weekly patch, the weekly patch cycle. Uh, then we should get one tomorrow just before my stream starts. However, tomorrow we are going to play some Avorian. Avorian is another uh, early access game. It's uh, it's kind of like a, a galactic. I don't know what do you, what would you call it? A galactic Minecraft. Or Minecraft on a galactic scale. Um, and I hate Minecraft. 
So I'm just going to put that up there. But I like space games. <laughs> oh, it was actually, I played it the other day and it was actually quite fun. I streamed it the other day and it was actually quite fun. So it's definitely something I want to do again. Uh, Shad Tiger, it would be 12 p.m. UTC. So if you have a look, uh, on my, uh, sort of at the bottom of my stream, yeah, in the inform information blocks, it's like my stream times. There's a little thing called, is it every time zone? Every time zone. So I'll show you what you do. Let me just uh, stop this warp quickly. Get this. Aha! I have. Right, so. Uh, I believe it's called. Yeah, this is what it's called. Here we go. Hey, Wickstrom, thanks for the uh, host. Wow. And he, and he hosted me with the coolest number ever. <laughs> Alright, so, yeah, um, Shad Tiger, this is that every time zone. So, what you would do with this is you would look at UTC, you would drag it over to uh, 12 p.m. UTC, the UTC 12 p.m., and then it will tell you what time it is for you in your time zone. And that's kind of, that's why I just use UTC because there's no daylight saving time or anything like that involved in it. So yeah, tomorrow at 12 p.m. UTC, we are going to be playing some Avorian, which is a galactic scale. So Mr. Wickram, what were you just streaming? What, were you doing the whole Andromeda? There you go. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Currently playing Thief. There you go. Thief. I remember Thief. Alright, so we have just discovered a um, we have just discovered a communication pod. Well, not communication pod. A um, down, 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 down. Stop. Slow. Match velocity. Alright, so this is a command. This is a command module. Let's take it back to our base. Yeah, that's like 7 a.m. <laughs> I know, well, the, well, I'm in Thailand, so my times are different. I live in the future. I live in the future times. Okay, so... Let's grab this guy. Right, so what we're going to do is we are, to, in order to grab this module, we need to go over to our docking and we are going to use, press R and go into the port docking. Okay, um, no, that's at the back of the ship. Fleep does that. Sleep eludes people. Well, I'm up every morning at 4 a.m., 5 a.m., 6 a.m., 7 a.m. Um, with a cool cat pretty much demanding his breakfast 
and things like that. And now the latest thing about Mr. Cool Cat is Cool Cat has decided that he doesn't like his favorite food anymore. So today I was actually out shopping trying to find him a whole lot of different types of food for him to try out. Uh, let's there you go. Get a hook onto that point. Yeah, so Mr. Cool Cat doesn't like um, doesn't like his gourmet food anymore. So uh, we've got to get him new sort of new food, and apparently my wife asked the, uh, the vet and they say oh it's a cat thing <laughs> cats sometimes get bored of the food so they won't eat it and you have to get them different food you know and what we what we did with him is we always give him a variety of food we don't give him the same flavor all the time we give him a different variety but uh, yeah he's a cat and he decides that what is good enough for him and what is not good enough for him. This looks like we've this is the one I think that we emptied out. He's not a cat, he's a cool cat. And in fact, he is a Kerbal cat. Look at him. Look at him. He's a little spacesuit. He likes space games too. <laughs> there you go. Cool cat. <laughs> cool cat is attacking. <laughs> <laughs> They're trying to kill Cool Cat. No! <laughs> yes, I have too much fun playing with... Uh, I have too much fun playing with things. <laughs> uh, the day you discovered GIMP. And how to do things in GIMP. It's a very, very happy day for me. <laughs> uh, let's see, can we get anything... Will this resolve any more? No. Yeah, he's uh... Ah, oh, he's young. What's he, about three years old now? He's about three years old. And he's five kilos. And now apparently... <laughs> apparently there's this famous cat in Thailand that is nine kilograms but this cat okay so he does a lot of the advertising for the cat food and stuff like that but it's hilarious there's a big announcement that the cat's got the this cat is called Pibong and Pibong when he goes to a a shopping mall crowds Crowds of people come to meet the cat. So now my wife once I said, "Oh, our cat's only five kilos. Uh, we've got we've got to feed him more. We've got to make him a fat cat <laughs> to be to be like uh, the famous cat." Yes, this is shit I need to deal with. Hey, Grizz. So my wife wants a fat cat. <laughs> Is 
Did you manage to load a photo of 27? Uh, I have no idea what 27 pounds is. Oh, get, yay, conversions. Oh, I can do this. Yeah, I can go like this. Okay, Google. What is 27 pounds in kilograms? 27 pounds equal 12.247 kilograms. 12 kilograms? Holy crap! That... That is a heavy, heavy catch. That is a heavy catch. 12 kilograms! And that's the little one. Hey, Agent Fart. Hey, <laughs> cats. Wow. It's a, a very catchy stream we've got of the I named him Dragon. <laughs> Aha! Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait a second. Okay, so after I relogged, after that long time warp, and I relogged, that's my base. It's still all there. So, yeah, you see, so that's the main base. There's the, um, uh, the airlock, there's the fusion, there's the uh, fusion thing, and that is, that, that's obviously uh, what's his, um, Yoni's ship, and you guys wanted me to kill him, wow. Okay, so that's your only ship. And now we've got another one. Got another one on, on our back. So what I'm gonna do... Should we dock this big one? Uh, do we have two command pods on on our station? Hmm. Oh, he was a tiger. He wasn't a cat. I'm trying to get myself into a good... Oh wait, where? Oh. Match velocity, there we go. Velocity locked. Okay. So now, this was the, this was the space station that we are building. So you've got the, the main module with the airlock. You've got the fusion reactor. You've got the command pod. I'm going to add another command pod to that. Because why the hell not? Alright, so uh, let me release this one. Alright, um... Grab the helmet. Yeah, I wish that that release actually released it, but it doesn't. You still have to go into the the other one and kind of release it that way. 
which is kind of like a problem. Yeah, ours is kind of, ours is a, I mean, now this is, let me, let me show you what Cool Cat looks like. You ready for it? Look at him. Look at him. That is, that is Cool Cat, trying to catch the numbers. So he's kind of, he's like a quarter Persian. There's a big hairy cat. <laughs> and his hair is all over the place. All over. It's like there's nowhere in the house where there is not cat hair. And of course, at night, he decides he wants to sleep under the blankets as well. Yeah, so he wants to sleep under the blankets. So at night, he actually climbs. He climbs under the blankets <laughs> to sleep in between in between my wife and myself. Oh, but, okay, well, listen to this one. Okay, so my wife has got this a satin pillow cover because it doesn't cause, it doesn't cause creases. It doesn't cause creases on your sort of on your face skin or whatever if you sleep with a satin pillow cover. So she's got a satin pillow cover. So of course Cool Cat decides that's a good place for him to sleep. So he at night he climbs up onto her pillow and with his feet he kicks her head until she moves her head off the pillow and he sleeps on the satin pillow. I wake up in the morning and my wife and myself are sharing the same pillow because the cat's on the other one. So yes, the, the tears, yeah, tears of uh, who is top tier in the house? Cool Cat is top tier. My wife is second tier and I am bottom tier. <laughs> So that's uh so welcome to my life <laughs> with cool cat <sighs> oh with it's lights e e l And go on to the RCS. Okay, so um, and a docking port. All right, so we're going to dock this one across. We're not going to dock there. Uh, not to the ship. Um, there we go. Okay, so we're going to dock this one to that one. <laughs> oh, it's Grizz hacking my bot again. Grizz, why are you hacking my bot? <laughs> yeah, I um, I decided to actually turn that little feature on to. Actually, there's a there's a rank system in there. If you type an exclamation point rank. You can see your rank based on how many hours you've spent in chat. Actually, I think I'm going to hit that. A frontliner. A frontliner with lasers soon. You see? And you start off, the rank when you start off is solid green. <laughs> That's your rank. You are just food. And you get it. I actually don't have a list of all the ranks, but I was just kind of thinking of funny things to do. Okay. 
kind of thing does the Oh XCOM is that uh, the XCOM is a great game. I actually when I started streaming, it was one of the games I started streaming with. It is an awesome strategy game. Of course I'm not very good at it. Oh, come back, 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 back. Oops, up, up, up. Up. Come across. Stop, stop, up. Um... Yeah, no, XCOM is, is, is awesome. Yeah, it's one of those games, it's, just, it's, it's a long game. It actually is a long game. Um, and, you know, the Iron Man mode, oh, really, really difficult. Two control panels, I don't know. But <laughs> that is our station. Now let me see. Uh, let's go have a uh, look around. I probably use up a lot of oxygen. So let me show you what our state what my station actually looks like. What we built. Um, the pressurize. I don't know. That that's the only ship. I need to go fetch my my other ship. Oh, okay. So yeah, the frame rates now are pretty bad. I think we have reached kind of. I've reached a part with the game. <laughs> it's a, uh, it's not a fan of this. Not a fan of having all these things so close. I see. As soon as I'm inside, away from those, it works. Uh, Repressurize. Yeah, a little stuttery. <laughs> it's like completely stuttery. I think once you put more than um, four modules, the the game just isn't very good at handling it. Just drop this over here. I'll come back and fix that when I'm ready. Yeah, this is the point where one seven. It did. It did fix a lot of stuff. Okay, so this is kind of. Alright, so kind of this is the home thing. The year is Neoni. Right, that says me, and we and I opened this for Neoni, so he was helping me build. Actually, okay. right, now again, this is the station above. So I found the fusion reactor. 
So we've got our very own fusion reactor. Then we go through the fusion reactor and we get into we get into our command pod, command module. So this will take us to the top of this command module, which we might as well go to. So this is the one that we that we already had. Okay. Hey, I can see the other guys. <laughs> oh, look, you can see the ship park there. Uh, no, I can see the other command. I can see the other command module. Hey guys, how you doing? <laughs> so yeah, so this is kind of. So this is not an outpost. This is actually stuff we've built. don't know what the command module does, it's really just kind of a fancy four-way connector. Oh. Close this door. Right, now. So that's a nuclear reactor. Um, ooh, I think it's this way. It is? Okay, so a uh, hundred. Oh, that's outside. Okay, so it's not there. Oh, it's not there. Yeah, that's it. Alright, so now this one I believe in like, no air in it at all. Alright. Okay, so it's actually got full of air. So maybe I found one that I didn't raid before. Or maybe I did raid it. Maybe I did raid this one. EVA jetpack here. Okay, I don't think I did raid this one. This is a completely new one. Let's see what it's got. Got guns. Nice. Um. Oh. Oh, it's always got a full suit. We just need a, hel a helmet for that. And we got charges of there. But yeah, that's kind of a... Uh, that is our new, our new module. What's that? Small bit back. So this is the the new module that we put on. Now we could didn't lose too much oxygen with this. Keep the doors closed. Yeah, the point two patch is gonna be. It's more of a. Um, They're calling it a content patch, but it's not a lot of content.
ठीक है अच्छा बॉक्सिंग अच्छा मैं इंसाइड या एलोक सो Big space station. Uh, yeah, I bought this. Oh god. Hey, wait a minute. Go pay two. Oh, that's what, that's obviously what's in his ship. Nitro and oxygen. They actually got lots more oxygen and stuff like that. So that's kind of... Working. Alright, so now I can grab my helmet. Uh, uh, Depressurize. Good old airlock. So, but now we pro okay. Actually, you know what? Could I tell? Let's try this. Um, it? no, it's not. I can't get my frame rates. I if there's a way to get your frame rates in this. But what's this? Is gonna be this is gonna be scary now. Open the door and. Well, it's not too bad. But now, where is my ship? Oh, there it is. I mean, that frame rate is not too bad. Considering everything's on there. Oh. And Thomas! 180573, thank you for the follow and welcome to the Alien Army. I don't know why my on-screen bot is not picking it up. That's weird. Right, so there is the only ship. This is my new ship. But I've got to go find my old ship. I believe it's about 8 kilometers away. We're going to go find our old ship that we started off the night in. And we're probably going to keep this ship instead. And let's grab this. We repressurize. And see what these airlocks do is they take everything and store it in a tank. So... And sometimes it needs to fill up the tank with air from your actual your actual ship so you know using the oxygen and stuff like that so it's not like you're losing them you're losing there every time i mean for early access game at the stage that this is which is really just about getting mechanics working in that they've done a pretty good job can't really fault them too much on that Although I really wish this helmet, you could, um, you could actually strap to your side or something like that. Oh, 
But so what we've got to do, um, we're going to go into the NAB computer. If I do a scan now, what's it going to show me? Oh, oh there's another one there. Derelict. Um, derelict. Let's see if it can zoom into you. Yep. Derelict ship. Derelict. That is our ship. No. Cancel. Warp drive. Alright. Uh, this is just going to be a tiny little warp. It's going to be a small little jump to our ship. Um, mission fuel. Click on that. Initialize. And we're just going to drain every resource from that. That shouldn't be a tiny little uh, warp jump. This 7.9, it's 7.9 kilometers. Now normally you'd use the engines, but the engines aren't fully done in the game yet. So it's just easy to do a warp jump. I mean, we could use RCS to push ourselves there. But it's really, really painful. So, just easier to do the quick jump. Okay. Oh, I think I went the wrong way. <laughs> Oops. I think I've flown to the wrong place. I have no idea where I've flown to. What is that big long thing over there? Oh. That's a reflection of my... Oh! That's the right place. Okay, so... What I'm going to do... Is... I don't know if we can do airlock to airlock. Can you do airlock to airlock in a ship? Anybody know? Whoa! Whoa! Come on, move down. I obviously hit it because it did that funny twirly thing. <sighs> Can you actually do airlock to airlock in the ship?
I can definitely do airlock two. I'm just going to grapple the airlock. I don't think we're going to try. I'm, I don't think I'm going to try to do airlock to airlock. You know what? Well, what? You know, screw this. I'm going to try to do airlock to airlock. doesn't like that. The solution, log out and log back in. <laughs> it's actually, it's so many solutions of this game. There's a log out, log back in. And, um, okay, so, this was done. They matched up now. Let's see. Let's see. Um, docking. Ah, there we go. Airlock docking. I can do an airlock to airlock docking. Okay. Okay. Let's try that. Never done that before. Down a ship airlock to airlock docking. So this is going to be interesting one for me. It means we can raid that we can raid this thing without no having to go through the airlock the whole time.
Okay. Now, probably want that to turn like that. Problem is, we are dealing with this thing. So, the one thing you do not want to do in a space game with a full on Newtonian physics. You do not want to bump ship. You definitely don't want to bump them. Uh, because there will be nothing to stop the thing from moving out of the way. So that's why we kind of keep this really slow. This is incredible. Kind of like zero. Pro Docker. Pro Docker. Some would say it's Dockerlicious. And go, hello. Hello there. We are now in the other ship. <laughs> I turned myself completely around. And I'm... Oh! <laughs> on my head! Okay. So, um... Now you see, look at this reactor capacity is... Because the, the it's been powered by the other one. Okay, so I mean we've got first of all this ship is now a waste. So I'm gonna take all these good fuel cells. Um like the Lots of um, yeah, maybe we'll come back for some uh, hacking tool. Yes, take the hacking tools. All right, so you got the yeah, let's go down here. I can't believe I found my old ship. Got this guy. In battery. We collected a whole lot of batteries. Um, 
Let's just put this down here quickly. And what we've got is the find all. So, cargo. Cargo bay 2. Now this is the other cargo bay. I can throw... I can throw kind of stuff into this cargo, into the other cargo bay. Um, and 312 oxygen in that one. Okay, so those are all the resources we need to move over. There's no other resources. And that will kind of give my other ship more oxygen. Um, Get another mining thing. Yeah. Let's just grab another. Grab one of these and. And basically, we're just gonna go through here. Oh, I landed on my head. Now, ideally, you'd lo I'd love to just throw things, but can't do it. And oh, wait a minute. Um. that there, throw that there, um, throw that there, and batteries, ah, fuel cell, okay, fuel cell we are going to replace the other one, bad one, Um, but that's sort of 31%. Okay, so that's got 31, that's zero. So that one we chuck. Uh, I'm going to actually throw this other one here as well. You know, take that one. Um, and so basically, you see what I've done is now I'm busy raiding the ship and taking everything from it. So I'm going to throw this over here. Uh, these batteries. Over there. Been a long time to collect all those batteries. Out. And you see, this battery should be full by now. Yep. And I him over there. Um, this guy. Okay, done. Oh, now we go over here, and what we do is we kind of look in this refined stuff, and you see where we popped all that that uh, nitrogen there, and we go to the cargo. Now this is the cargo on the other ship. Look at all the oxygen. We're gonna move all that oxygen there. Right, so we've moved every everything from the other ship over. Nitrogen is something that we're actually missing. We need more nitrogen. Oxygen we're okay with. Nitrogen we definitely need more. So we're going to go back to the ship and raid it up. Alright, um, and up we go. 
So this really, I mean, it's this is this game. It's a, a very much of a scavenging of a scavenger game. Except when I land on my head. Oh, so grab this. Uh, should we go grab the other batteries? Like, what's how does this power supply look? That's crap. That's oh, well, that's a good one. I'll take that one. Other stuff, pretty crappy. The solar panels are good. Um, let's go grab some more battery. See if there's anything else that's worthy of taking. Grab two more batteries. And leave the third battery there. Um, now is there anything in here worthy of taking? That was handy. This is where I knew. Ha! Ah, look at that. So three, another three full warp cores. Another three full warp cores. I mean, nobody can deny when a warp core comes with the itty bitty thing. Oh. And yeah. You remember that uh, one Star Citizen demo when they came through the when they came through the portal and they just showed them I showed them kind of doing that flip over to get in. I really need that animation now. Ah, so, lots of warp cores. Yeah, we kind of full of warp cores. Um, four canister. I have taken them downstairs, but <laughs> hopefully they'll be alright there. But no, no more space downstairs. Alright, so... Uh, battery. And... Canister. And build good, good, good. and pressure. Yep, we needed those. Okay. Ooh. Now the last thing I want to move over. It's a quite an important one. In fact, what I'm going to do... That should be alright. Actually, if I... You know what? The easy way to move it over. There's a very easy way to move it. What I want to move over. Um, pop this over there. And I take now a clock. Ah, oh, okay, well, I can move it all over in one trip. Cool. That should work. Oh. 
have no jetpack, so I couldn't do anything there. Alright, so if I grab the EVA suit. Put the helmet on. Uh, I can grab some more ammo. Um, grab the helmet. Grab that. And up we go. Yes, I'm now going to pull on my head. I haven't mastered the art of turning around easily. And there we go. So we've got a full spare EVA suit. That's pretty good. Alright, now, last sweep, to see if there's anything else we need from the ship. Alright, don't need more of these suits. No, I don't think there's anything else we really want from the ship anymore. Oh, uh, we could probably take this compressor. That looks bad. Um, got plenty. Um, resource injector. Grab that as well. And what I can do is turn off the turn off the capacitor. That works. Now I can turn off all those sort of things. Um Yeah, nothing more we want. We are all done. Not quite done. Ah, uh, so all to undock. Okay. John Duck. A look over there. Bye bye, ship. I've got a new ship now. And my new ship loves me. I love it. We are going to be together like father and son. We are going to rule the universe. That's my story. Um, okay. So let's have a look at this. Both of those are online. Perfect. Everything is 
Yep, we've got ourselves a good, fine and funky ship over here. We've got a spare, we've got a spare EVA set. Uh, so, okay, time for a relog. <laughs> oh, God. Relogging. It's a terrible, terrible thing. Oh, so I think what we're gonna oh, what we are going to do is we are gonna head back to our base. And I think we're just gonna dock with our base this time. And I think we might call it over then. Alright, so if I Sort of go to the navigation um, home station. Uh, DB, yep, yeah, that's my home station. I'm going to set a warp drive over there. Go with the time. Look at, look at my warp things. Completely full. Completely full. So what we've got to do is we've got to lower our arrival time so that we spend less time in warp because it says acceleration too high insufficient dr driving fuels that's the one you want too low and not enough time insufficient driving fuel is the one you want and then you select a fuel cell and damn Actually, the one game that somebody mentioned that I should try is a, I think it's called Rogue System, which is a very, very complicated um, sort of spaceship game where you've got to start your reactors in the right sequence. It's a whole weird, weird thing. That it's a. Uh, I'll keep my eye on that. It's on my wish list. I'll have to have a look at that game because I mean, there's not. It's a, it is a, a extremely niche game. And you know something? I don't think this game will ever be very popular. This game is also going to be very very niche. stop turning so much okay so the sun thing is not good so that is our system what I'm thinking I'm gonna do um, I think I'm gonna to dock to the to the new thing. So maybe yeah on this side. Maybe this side. Maybe I kind of dock to that that port over there if I can help it. Back to that, that port. Um, Alright, so what we're going to do is we are going to go onto the docking mode and we're going to dock via the grappler. First of all, what we're going to do is we've got to kind of turn the whole ship around because the grappler at the back. We've got to turn around so that this is facing. Yep. 
uh, we won't go for this port. That's the port we want to try docking to. Now the question is, how do we get to that port? Uh, you hold T and you scroll through the various modules and there we go docking B so now we are just going to move towards it slowly Last time what I did was I sort of stopped in my ship. Now I left myself in my ship. And then when I came by, I had no fuel or anything like that. This time I'm gonna go over here. And because there's two of us, we've got at least two ships. Oh yeah. Okay, now I'm not going to use my EVA suits. Um, well, I suppose I could use my EVA suit because I've got a spare one in here. Hold R to foot. Uh, pick this one up. So I've got kind of two suits over there. Uh, I'm going to take this other assault gun. Hmm. You know what? Yeah, I'll, I'll put it on the station. Alright, we go up. And depressurize. And we're going to go back into our main station and then I think uh, we're going to do what like Neoni did. We're going to take off all our clothes. So if we die, uh, we don't lose our suit. Oh! We pressurize. I forgot to do something. I was meant to do something. So that we don't have the same problem we had last time. And that is... Last time we ran out of deuterium. So, I am actually going to turn off this fusion reactor. Ah, I see this other one is turn... I see... Turning off that fusion reactor as well. I'm turning off all the fusion reactors. Uh, online to that's on the other ship um, I think it's the same things happen to what's his face the ship is it's used up all the deuterium our solar panels should be able to provide enough coverage oh they're not Yeah, well, we can turn it on to get there. But I'm not letting my ship run out of deuterium again.
Like we've got to, we've got. That's what you've got to mine. You've got to mine for a lot of material. So deep pressure. And so a kind of resources and that are going to be a serious thing. You're going to do a lot of mining in that. And um, I think survival in this game is going to be tough. Now they are adding in food mechanics as well. Uh, what they said in point two is actually adding in basketball courts and hoops. <laughs> yeah, because it's like everything wasn't just work, there was play too. So they've added that in. Um, actually, that frame rate is. That frame rate is not is not bad to be honest. Considering what we've got, considering what we what we're looking at. Oh crap! <laughs> um. Um, I can't even get in. Holy crap, how the hell did I park this ship? Shit, shit, shit. You know what this means? I can't get into the airlock to open that ship up. I'm going to have to pop this door. I hate popping the door. That means I'm going to lose a lot of air. And uh, we definitely want to go that one there. Actually, we could actually do the actual airlock. That would work too. You can get in the airlock. But, but I'm gonna have to pop this door now. now this is what's this is what I find annoying is that you've got the release. You know, you've got the claw release inside the ship. And uh Hold, grab hold. Don't blow me away. They've got the claw release inside the ship. So that should release the claw. You shouldn't have to come into the module to hit its release button. Yeah, uh, to me, that's ridiculous. But you have to do it both sides. I can understand with other modules. But for the claw, grappler you should really just have it inside the ship that to me would make more sense Close the oh. that's filling with oxygen now Side and repressurize. But this game has so much potential. It's the amount of hours I've played this game in the state that it's in, it's very rare for early access game to do that to me. Very rare. Yeah, well, not, not even an early access game, an alpha game. 
No, it's... It is definitely something. I am. Alright, so uh, let's just... This home quick. There. Here's the... Uh, undock. But no, I'll probably need to start this reactor again. Uh, capacitors out. Start the reactor. Although it's output. Hmm. Okay. Actually, is that going up? Reactor started. Oh, it is powering up. Capacitor. So, um, right, so we're going to go dock, port, The new one, Dark A. There definitely should, there also needs to be something that what you do is, you know, kind of like the deuterium thing. For example, I don't want the station to use the deuterium from my ship. And at the moment, it's going to. But it's still... Oh, Neoni! There you are. Oh, you, you, I got such a fright earlier. I got to the... I, I finally... Because my ship ran out of power. My ship ran out of power. So I... Um, ran out of deuterium. Forgot, for, because I forgot to turn off my reactor. And... Um, so I had to respawn at an outpost and then I had to do a 40 minute warp. Luckily there was a ship there. I had to do a 40 minute warp to, to get to our station. I get to our station and it's just the basic module. None of the other parts were there. So it's like, what the hell? It was just a, a display bug. <laughs> So now I've just made it, I've found, because the thing had nothing, I decided, okay, let's start building it again. And I found another command pod. So now we've got two command pods on our station. 
Oh, and I got a spare. Um, I've got a spare EVA suit. Yeah, but look, look at our. See, there's your ship. Here's my ship. Um, I'm on the command pod. We've got two command pods. We've got the fusion reactor. We've got the, yeah, we've got the fusion reactor. Um, it's pretty cool. We've got ourselves a pretty big base here. The one thing we don't have is the cargo module. That is the one thing that we're missing. Yeah, and luckily the ship spawn at the outpost now. So that's a, a good thing. Where to put my suit? <laughs> you know what? Where'd you go? You were over here. I might have fallen in storage a bit. <laughs> oh. Hmm, this emoji just shows up random on my computer is hacked. Are you sure? Are you sure the, the your computer's hacked? Or you just or you just being an ass? Oh, that's true too. Um, oh, I forgot I could put a gun under here. Ditto! Ditto to you! Um, air compressor. Go! There we go. Okay, um... Oh, it charged. Oh no, this gun isn't a charging. 